Welcome to Stories by Bob K Podcast. It is a pleasure to have you. Enjoy some time on a journey of storytelling. Enjoy today's flash fiction epiphany. Written by Bhavna Kamlani. Have an awesome and vibrant day. Like a flash of light, a preview to his soul kept transcending until I felt droplets of sweat trickling down my face. Waking up suddenly, I realized I was the only one sleeping on the bed. Remembered that I was the queen of my life and so did the thunder. Outside my window Payne agreed to it whilst he cleared his throat. Beneath the bed sheet lie the swirling truth that was trying so hard to make way through my spine. The alarm clock rang which did its duty, and reminded me that I had to make another 50 cupcakes for the baking competition. Why the freak do I need to compete? I know I am the delight and friendly to every taste bud. What I mean are my cupcakes. Obviously, ever since I started to follow my passion in baking I have been stroked by lightning several times and yet I live climbing beyond limitations, making way to live with seasons and conquering my own whirlpool of weather influx. An inner turmoil is the first to conquer and become aware of then you are ready to face the storm without an umbrella. Oh well, taking a good nap is good. It refreshes you and then you whip the eggs better. You can also create flowers with your batter adding cinnamon in everything you bake and not tell anyone about it. The epiphany mirrored a person, just like me, or someone who shares a life journey with me for many lives. I think I can tell who that may be, but what am I to do with it when he is living a life in a yacht? He is happy with the wealth of a woman, money, an illusion he has embraced. I am only able to watch the glimpse of him through pictures he shares whilst the memory of having spent some time together is being buried under his bedsheet. Time spent with him was much like he needed to be healed from his inner demons and I was just, just a passerby to invest and share my time to lift him up expressing the truth and always in the frame of unconditional love. Looks like love under our bedsheets has decided to shake my world and not his. These fleeting thoughts accompany me in the shower and I am just focusing on how I can look after my honey so the cupcakes can flaunt their inner beauty to the outer world. This is the last round for the competition, and I have surrendered. I can no longer understand how deep lavender and butterfly pea can make love to the creamy batter. Even life skills nor positive thinking is going to save the 50 cupcakes. For how long faith will be tested and tears will be the expression of letting go of him. The silence of parting ways without any communication, and the efforts made simply got parked by the overload of work he mentioned, for that I respected the situation, and it was not in my nature to become a woodpecker in his life. So I decided let go and it's been months. Living life in different cake batters has made my life fluffy and warm, until I am woken up by the epiphany of some deep truth. Why is this telepathic connection not liberating me? It's not like I have the control of his life. I am taking baby steps. I am aware and can see he is happy gloating. Then what are the unconscious minds trying to do? So I decided to let these thoughts linger around because avoiding it will just affect my cupcakes. Why the lavender beauty should be affected when she is to join hands with butterfly pea. In time the batter was made and put into the oven. After having it half baked, I decided to separate the cupcakes and added mint, cinnamon, peaches, chocolate, and vanilla. The diverse acknowledgement was then put back into the oven, waiting for the timer to alert me. I quickly dressed up and was ready to face reality. The magnitude of reality was no pretense. The timer went off and I knew it's time to accompany the cupcakes. I was just a source and the cupcakes had to win hearts. Driving through the rain, I reached the fabricated decor of the baking industry. There was passion, the honesty of blending nature, but there was also competition. Hem, placing the beauties on a rose petal bed I take a picture to share it on Instagram. Until just then my pulses and focus lose its way. I hear my name and I look up. WTF is he doing here? Since when is he into baking? Did the epiphany shake? Both our worlds. I hope you enjoyed today's story session. Looking forward to having you join stories by Bob K again. Thank you and tune in again when we bring you another amazing session of storytelling. Have a vibrant day.